All right, good afternoon, everyone. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca. I'm the Chair of the Subcommittee on Planning, Dispositions, and Concessions. Welcome, everyone, to today's hearings. We're joined today by Council Member Idonis Rodriguez. And I just want to give a shout out to I see Assemblywoman Diana Richardson, uh, who's in the back. Um, today, we'll be hearing three applications for Article 11 tax exemptions. We will be laying over LU 797, the Archer Green tax exemption, and we have called on an additional meeting tomorrow morning to consider the Bedford Army application, so we will be laying over that application until tomorrow. The first item is pre-considered LU, an application regarding 1646 Amsterdam Avenue, HPD seeks an exemption from real estate taxes pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law for Property, located at Block 2073, Lot 32 in Council Member Levine's District in Manhattan. Um, I want to recognize that we've been joined also by and Council Member Andy Cohen. I am now opening up the public hearings on pre-considered LU 1646, Amsterdam Avenue. Mr. Speaker, please introduce yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Jordan Press. I'm the Executive Director for Development and Planning in HPD's Government Affairs Unit. This pre-considered item consists of an exemption area containing one five-story multifamily building known as 1646 Amsterdam Avenue in Manhattan Council District 7. This item is an amendment to, an, to a previously approved disposition by the Council on February 11, 1992 under HPD's then Community Management Program. Under CMP, properties uh, could remain either a rental or be operated as a low-income cooperative. 1646 Amsterdam Avenue contains eight three-bedroom units, um, and currently there are three rental occupants who are remaining on the premises. Uh, the property operated as a cooperative from 1992 until 2016. Going forward, we're looking to have household income targets between 40% and 115% of AMI. The project was not successful as a cooperative, and there are no remaining shareholders um, for a variety of reasons, um, but the bottom line is that the building was in um, uh, both physical and financial distress, um, and by court order uh, and judgment dated June 26, 2016, it was mandated that the title be transferred to a new rental HDFC con consisting of rent-stabilized apartments. Separately, in December 2016, Neighborhood Restore was appointed receiver by the court. The goal of this project is to convey the property to a newly created rental HDFC controlled by West Harlem Group Assistance, or WAGA, a non-for-profit with uh, affordable housing experience to completely re rehabilitate the property. The work will include repair to the envelope, including roof replacement, windows, and fire escape, Work in the common areas includes repairing the tile flooring, new mailboxes, stairs, treads, and handrails. Additionally, the building security system will be replaced, and within the apartments there will be new vinyl flooring, kitchen cabinets, and fixtures, as well as new paint. Upon post-construction, there will be one two-bedroom and seven three-bedroom apartments. One apartment will be reconfigured to comply with Section 504 mobility standards and will be renovated from a three-bedroom to a two-bedroom unit. In order to help preserve affordability of the units, HPD is before the planning subcommittee seeking full Article 11 tax benefits. We are also requesting a seven-year retroactive Article 11 tax exemption to address the property tax arrears. Councilman, Council Member Levine has been briefed and is supportive of the project moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Press. Um, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this project? All right, seeing none, I will now close public hearings on pre-considered LU 1646, Amsterdam Avenue. The second item is LU 818, the Dunwell Plaza application submitted by HPD pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. The application is a real property tax exemption for property located at Block 2114, Lot 35 in Council Member Levine's district in Manhattan. I am now opening up the public hearing on LU 818, the Dunwell Plaza tax exemption. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Land use number uh, 818 consists of an exemption area containing one 15-story multiple dwelling known as Dunwell Plaza located at 1920 Amsterdam Avenue in Manhattan Council District 7. Dunwell Plaza is a low-income HUD multifamily Section 8 development cur currently owned by an Article 5 housing redevelopment company and was approved for disposition on May 26, 1977 by the Board of Estimate as part of the redevelopment of the Washington Heights High Bridge Park Urban Renewal Area. The city sold the development to the current owner on April 3, 1978. 
Dunwell Plaza is com comprised of 183 rental units with a mixture of unit types including 154 one bedrooms and 29 two bedrooms, all of which are occupied. Upon initial occupancy, household incomes do not exceed 50% of AMI and tenants pay no more than 30% of their income toward rent. As part of the project, a new sponsor will acquire and rehabilitate the building. Work will include all new kitchen and bathrooms, including water conserving fixtures, as well as lighting upgrades in the common areas. In order to facilitate the redevelopment of the project, HPD is before the planning subcommittee seeking approval for the housing company to dissolve their status as an Article 5, terminate their current tax exemption, and enter into a new partial Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years that will coincide with the term of the regulatory agreement, restricting use to low-income rental housing as well as a new 20-year HAP contract. Councilmember Levine has been briefed and has indicated his support for the project. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are there any members of the public who wish to testify? All right, seeing none, I will now close the public hearings on LU-818. The third item is a preconsidered LU, the Los Tres Unidos application. HPD seeks an exemption from real property taxes pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law to facilitate the rehabilitation of the property. Located at Block 1617, Lot 7 in Councilmember Perkins', Council Member Perkins District in Manhattan. Uh, I now open the preconsider LU for the Los Tres Unidos tax exemption, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This preconsidered item consists of an exemption area containing one seven-story multiple dwelling known as Los Tres Unidos, located at 1680 Madison Avenue in Manhattan Council District 9. Los Tres Unidos is a Section 8 low-income HUD multifamily development currently owned by an Article 5 housing redevelopment company that was approved for disposition on January 24, 1981 by the Board of Estimate as part of the redevelopment of the Milbank Frawley Urban Renewal Area. The building is fully occupied and contains 135 units of rental housing, including a superintendent's unit. There is a mixture of unit types, including 36 one-bedrooms, 72 two-bedrooms, and 27 three-bedroom apartments. The household incomes at initial occupancy cannot exceed 50 percent of AMI, and tenants pay no more than 30 percent of their income towards rent. The sponsor has been actively engaging in repairs and is removing housing code violations. The most recent capital work includes a new boiler and roof in 2007, new windows and showers in 2008, security upgrades in 2014, rehab of balconies in 2015. The project scored an 88 in a HUD REAC inspection in 2016. The current owner will convey the property to a new sponsor who is committed to continue long-term affordability for occupants of the property. Therefore, the sponsor is seeking to voluntary, von, voluntarily dissolve their status as an Article 5 redevelopment housing company and convert to an Article 11 HDFC, requiring the sponsor to enter into a regulatory agreement restricting the use of the, de the development to low-income rental housing. They will also enter into a new HAP contract for 20 years. In order to help preserve the affordability of the low-income rental units, HPD is before the planning subcommittee seeking approval for the housing company to dissolve their status as an Article 5 terminate their current tax exemption and enter into a new partial Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years that will coincide with the term of the regulatory agreement. Councilmember Perkins has been briefed and, is, and has indicated his support. Are there any more members of the public who wish to testify on this application? All right, seeing none, I will now close the public hearing on pre-considered LU, Tres Unidos tax exemption and I'm going to take a two-minute recess.
Okay, so we are we are back from recess. Um, so the uh, NCP Park and Elton application uh, for LU746 has been withdrawn. Accordingly, we will vote on a motion to file to remove it from our calendar. Along with this vote, we will be voting to approve the three tax exemption applications that will that we held hearings on today, which have the support of the local council members. All other items on our calendar will be laid over. Council, please call the roll on vote to file LU-746 to approve LU-818 and preconsidered LU-1646 Amsterdam and preconsidered LU Los Tres Unidos. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Councilmember Cohen. Uh, but aye on all. Councilmember Traeger. Vote aye. By vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Um, land use item 818 and two pre-considered applications are approved, and land use item 746 is filed. All right, I would like to thank the council and land use staff for preparing today's hearings and members of the public and my colleagues for attending. I will leave the roll open for 20 minutes. Thank you. <laughs>